with Glenn Beck. Certainly, you just became your own hot topic a moment ago yeah. or two. But now I want to ask you about things we brought up in Hot Top Soup as well. Yeah. Nancy Pelosi, what are your thoughts on um, I, You know, actually, her? when I was watching back in the green room, I think that this discussion was very telling. Um, because I've watched the show. I, I do my radio show at the same time this is on, so I rarely see the show. Mm -hmm. But when I have seen the show in the past, it has been left-right, Democrat-Republican split. I'm talking back in the Bush era a couple of years ago. You said the Democrats have a lot to answer for. Sure. I think you said something against the the Republicans. No, she didn't. And I she didn't. You didn't? <laughs> somebody, somebody it else. Old, and it was yeah. It, yeah, it was all of them. Yeah, it, 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 and that's, where, that's, that's where America I mean, needs I mean, to I be. I usually statements. don't give my opinion. I did say something about the Republicans. It was right. it was me. The the the, the the American people are, I think, done with the left-right thing. We're done with the Democrats and Republicans. We can see that both of them, some of them are good, some of them are bad, both of them lie to us. It's time for people just to deal straight you know and what, just do the right thing yes, for the country. Sir. That's true, but I didn't hear statements like that when Bush was in office. I you never didn't heard... watch my show. No, I didn't. <laughs> The, the last but two I mean, years, mostly, that's pretty much all we heard. Right, no? It was you know, bowing down to Bush for Not those me. eight years. So now all of a sudden we're going to have a fair no, no, no. attack. In 2004, I was on the radio saying, get away from these Republicans. They are lying to you. They are not shooting straight with you. I mean, I do agree with you. It, it, it's, it's tiring. It really is tiring trying to figure out who, who is who and what is what. They, I feel like they're all... Some they're all lying. They're all double but, dealing. No, 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 the the discussion, was, lying, the discussion was should she resign? That was the discussion. I like to see all of them resign. I like to see all of them resign. You know, that just neutralizes like to, it too much yeah. when you say something like that. All of them should but, resign. So yes, some, 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 yes, some are not. So yes, you think Nancy Pelosi should resign if she's included in that? Right. Yeah, I, I, I really, I, I, there's about three people I think that. And I, and I go back and forth on them. I don't trust any of them. They're all, they all get into a situation to where they say, well, I'll compromise on my values here because I won't get elected next time. Right. And so I'm too important to lose. None of them are too important. None of them fear the people. Mm -hmm. None of them are serving the people. I can't say none of them. No, but but generally speaking, times. the parties stand for nothing mm -hmm. except for get us elected. That's all they stand for. I'd like to see the individuals in the party stand up and say, this is what I believe. You may not like me, you may not, you may disagree with me, but this is what I believe. I just think everybody should do it. I Did think everybody like, should, you know, take the opportunity. We've had this discussion mm -hmm. where, you know, sometimes you're going to have to say some stuff that's not going to be popular, that's right. not going to get you uh, reelected. <laughs> but that's what needs to happen. But you know, it's it seems that that we're all walking this very fine line of trying to please. It's all seeming to become entertainment. Do you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. all become entertainment. So on I don't both, know if that's going to happen. Both sides. What you cry, we, and that's one of your trademarks, and you get very passionate and so forth. What are your real convictions? Tell us some things that, that are really First, important to you. let me say something about the crying thing. Okay. Do People you think, haven't seen it, but he does. Do you think, do you think I want to be that guy? Do you I think, know. I mean, who do I, I'm on the quintessential chick show, and you're making fun of me for oh, no, crying. No, I didn't, who no, do no, excuse I, me. I mean, who do excuse I, excuse me, cry? excuse me. Oh, don't there was nothing, just cry. a second. Excuse there was me. no, I, Glenn, excuse me. There was nothing in what I said that made fun of you. I said no, no, no. it as straight, this is what you just did. I said it as straight as could be. I said, you know, I'm, and I said it in a nice, I said on your program, you cry. I, just, I make people cry sometimes, I cry. And then I said, nicely, what are your real convictions? And what you did was say, I'm making fun of you. Let me say it again, as nicely as I can. And I'm not making fun of you, You're, you know, I... You gotta eat your crying, Glenn? What are have you, you seen the Colbert Report? I'm just saying, is it... It's I, don't have, it's it's I don't I'm have a... I don't have a... Emotion. I have no problem crying. I have no problem in saying what I believe. I have no problem in saying the tough things. I, I, I am amazed at this... Um, country that we have come to a point to where somebody can actually believe you could disagree. No, I just but want actually, to know what your convictions are. It's a simple question. What are the things I that you feel? I believe in God. I believe in the founding of this country. I believe George Washington, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson. These okay. guys were Sarah genius. Palin. I wouldn't put her in that. Do you believe in her? 
I'm not sure about her. Oh, really? I like I like her on the outset. I think she's closer to the uh, to real people. Uh -huh. She's not been tainted by the parties. I think that's think why that, the Republicans went but after her. Would you trust her if something would have happened? Think that she thinks Africa she is a continent or a country. <laughs> what do you think she thinks? I really? don't know. I haven't asked her. Uh -huh. well, you, I, I, okay, you said how you feel about Sarah Palin. How do you feel about Joe Biden? Because I know you, you were kind of mad at him for what he said uh, just recently. I think Joe Biden is uh, incredibly uh, loose-lipped. Oh. I mean, I think he is. I, 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 I'm we amazed know this at about yeah. Joe. Yeah. That is kind of a bad. That's kind of a bad mm -hmm. trait. I mean, we you know we pounded. Well, you're incredibly loose lipped. I'm not a vice president. He's not a vice president. Yeah, but Nor should I be the vice president. Look at the trouble you got into because of your loose lips. Uh, you invited, right? Glenn. So should I be the vice yes. president of the United Glenn. States? No. Glenn. I think all of us believe deeply in this country. I think almost everybody does believe in God. I I just think it's interesting to know what your true convictions are, except for the fact that, you know, that you believe in this country. I, I, I haven't learned that much more. This is where you're supposed to start crying. Well, I think... <laughs> Whoopi's looking at, at me like... Don't look away from her. Look at her in the eyes. Well, maybe this is a conversation that needs to be continued at another what? time. Possibly the three of you could get together for lunch. In the meantime, <laughs> Glenn's show airs every evening on the Fox News channel. And we've made Check your local watch. listings. We'll be right so, back. Thank us. Thank you. Hello.